Hey Becky, I uh, just wanted to give you a quick video <clears throat> showing some techniques that you might find useful to reposition these solids. So the command that I'm going to use is the move bodies command. And I think if you could model everything in the orientation that you want right away it would probably serve you best in the long term, but sometimes when I've used the derive tool if something doesn't quite come in the right position I'll use this move bodies command. And within the move bodies you can choose different types of manipulations. In this case I want to rotate the bodies. So I'm going to choose a body and <clears throat> I'll be honest I might not get this right exactly the way you want it oriented but at least this way this will give you some techniques to reposition it. So if I choose the bodies that I want to rotate and then I can choose the rotational axis. Again I'm just making it up. Choose that. It gives me a preview and then I can choose the angle orientation that I want. So that is a potential way to rotate it and then if we do the same thing with these we can actually grab all the bodies well including that first one but instead of moving it in the X we can use the Y again using our triads down here and then I can use the measure tool to actually measure these different objects that I may want to maneuver and then what sometimes happens to me is I forget about that little zero so to get rid of that and again if we utilize the preview you can just say we actually want that to go the opposite direction and so that would be a potential way to reorient your different solids depending on what you're looking for hope that helps and have a blessed night